guys, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. It's Tiffany. What is freaking up, you guys? Wow, I have not been able to nail my intro in such a long time. Guys, I always mess it up. Right now, I'm headed to go to the bank right now. I'm gonna pick up some $1 bills because we are surprising Remy for her birthday. We're taking her to Hamburger Mary's. If you guys have never been to Los Angeles, I'm not sure if this is a thing outside of LA, but Hamburger Mary's is pretty much a spot where drag queens literally perform and you like give them ones and dollar bills or fives if you're feeling really like rich that day but it's kind of a spot where you eat brunch and you kind of just watch the performers perform and i feel like this is something that was so spot on for remy that we we're all so excited to take her but i bought her a little gift and i figured i would show you guys it's so freaking cute i actually haven't been able to see it until now if you guys know remy she just loves being bougie and comfy so i bought her a little barefoot dreams robe it's so so nice i would never buy this for myself because it's a little pricey but this is like a perfect gift to buy for someone else i want to keep it myself but i can't because it's for remy and i fucking love her i'm giving it to her kind of late since her birthday was like a few days ago but she's been in new york i haven't seen her i wrote her a little card and everything so i just gotta make sure i grab that before i leave oh, oh my goodness oh, so My favorite drag restaurant. <laughs> Happy birthday, Rev. Thank you. I'm How so does excited. it feel to be officially 27? You're oh, officially oh, in your fuck. late 20s. I know. Don't remind You're me. You're in your late 20s. But what a way to celebrate. Look at this fit. You look so cute. Thank you. I love. Lauren provided the hat. Oh, I love yeah. that. So fucking cute. <laughs> this is so I'm so excited about this. <gasps> that looks beautiful. Well, I love it. Yum. Oh my god, we got milk bar cookie cake. <gasps> okay. Mm. Mm. Yum. We have presents? We have presents. <laughs> Fuck me up, yes. <laughs> Is it a Barefoot Dreams robe? Yes. <laughs> so much. <laughs> you knew the second you opened that. I'm totally gonna put it on right now. I was afraid you already had one. Did you have one? Um, I do, but uh, it's not. What? It's not, not for everyone. Can I feel room? it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but it's it's also too big. It's like uncomfortably big. Wait, and this what one, size? I don't know. No, no, it's like a, a heavier one. Like this oh. is a nice lighter one. Thank you guys so much. Of course. Wow, this is the best Happy birthday. birthday ever. Can't wait for the party. Hey guys, so I just left Lauren's house. I'm currently at my friend Allison's house right now. We're doing a little Valentine's Day dinner. We had a very, very successful birthday surprise for Remy. We had Cal come over. We sang her happy birthday. We had a birthday cake and everything. So hopefully Remy had a really good time. And unfortunately, I did not know she already had a Barefoot Dreams robe. So it's okay. But it's from Mia, Lauren, and I. I'm like burning up and hot. Today is like a social day for me. I have four different plans. I had Remy's little birthday get together for her birthday. Right now, I'm going to a Galentine's Day floral arrangement with my friends from college. I'm super excited to see them. Afterwards, Matt and I are gonna go over back to Lauren's house. There's a fight going on tonight, so we're gonna watch it at Lauren's house. And then after that, I'm going to my good friend Tree's house, and he's having a little get together later tonight that's gonna end the night. So I feel so 
social today. This is the most social I'll be in a very long time. After today, I am done for a whole week. No more social events happening for the next week. It is so hot in LA today. I can't believe it's 85 degrees in the middle of winter. It's February and it's freaking 85 degrees. I am burning up hot, but I gotta go and see my friend. I'm super excited for this. Oh my God, what is this? This is so fun. Allison, wow, you're going all out today. <gasps> this is so pretty. Wow, are you kidding me? What is this? Allison, hostess with the mostest. I did not make this. Uh, you didn't? Well, well I made did. this. I brought the food, but like someone else made it. Ooh, can I have a cupcake? Yeah, maybe. Oh, yum. All right, Newell just got here. How pretty. All right, guys, so this is mine. This is Megan. So cute. Yeah. It's so cute. Hello guys, I am back home now. I wanted to show you guys my floral arrangement really fast. I am making dinner for Matt and I. It is my day to make dinner. We normally switch off every other day. So today we're making chicken with rice and cucumbers with this sauce that I love making that's so good. But look at my flowers. Guys, look how pretty this is. Okay, not gonna lie, when I was making it in person and I was comparing it to everyone else's, mine looked so bad. But now that I'm looking at it by itself, like sometimes you just gotta take yourself away from the crowd to just value how cute and beautiful you are. That was very fucking cheesy. But that's kind of how I felt about my floral arrangement. Like now that I see it by itself, it's so pretty. But compared to everyone else's, I was like, oh, mine's not very cute. It's very me. It kind of feels like fall because I personally thrive during the fall time. So I'm gonna make some dinner. I figured we would cook together maybe a little bit and then afterwards We're gonna go head straight to Lauren's house hang out with her And then after that we're gonna go see our friend tree for a party at his house. We're gonna play bingo I literally love going to his house because we literally play bingo and we just like bet and I always lose like 50 bucks But it's a great time either way. So I'm super excited about that But I'm not gonna lie I kind of have a stomach ache happening right now And I can't tell if it's because I just haven't had really good food All I ate today was a lot of candy alcohol and pancakes, which I aren't very filling. So let's make some real food for today. All right guys, I just made the chicken. I made it so easily. It's super easy to make. You just put some soy sauce, sriracha, sugar, and garlic onto your pan. Make a little sauce with it with some rice and cucumbers. Mm, this meal is so good. Mmm, <laughs> that's so good. Yeah, very good. So good. Mm -hmm. When people come over, this is the meal I'm going to make for them. Hey guys, good morning. It's Wednesday now, so we missed a couple of days of vlogging. I didn't want to vlog on Valentine's Day or Super Bowl Sunday because Super Bowl Sunday is really boring. And Valentine's Day, I just wanted to spend time with Matthew. But we're back on the vlogging game. Callie is currently over, sitting on the couch. We got some exciting things happening today. We're about to head over to Hollywood because I think by the title of this video, you guys will see that I have a billboard. I'm on a billboard in Hollywood. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be on a billboard in Hollywood. I'm super excited about it. So today we're gonna visit that billboard. We're gonna take a bunch of photos, see what it's all about. I'm literally so freaking excited. I cannot believe I'm on a billboard and I actually get to take photos of it. I remember a few years ago, Ha, <laughs> like seven, not a few. You know, when I was a little bit younger, I actually was working with Origins and they had my face all over billboards in Asia, literally on advertisements in the train in like Japan. They also had me at like all the Macy's, literally everywhere. I did get to see one store that had my face in it and I took photos and I really wish I took more photos of me on advertisements. It's just like such a cool flex. And I hate saying that, but it's like, it makes me proud and it makes my parents proud and it makes like Matthew proud so Callie and I are gonna stop by the um, the billboard today we're gonna take some photos it's in front of the Chinese theater if you guys know or don't know it's such an iconic theater that's literally where the Walk of Fame is where all the stars have their names on it I'm super excited about it also if it's really difficult for me to talk in today's vlog that is literally because yesterday I bit my tongue so hard so hard that all of a sudden right after I bit it my throat got sore and my tongue is still sore on just my right side not my left side so I'm kind of tripping on my tongue right now which is not fun so i'm gonna try not to talk too much in today's vlog i'll just show you guys a bunch of stuff that we're doing but i'm super excited about that i was supposed to do like a thing with Saks fifth avenue today but i think that's canceled because i don't know anything about it they are gonna have like another photo shoot in a week which i don't know if i'm gonna be a part of but we'll see i was supposed to work with them today but i don't know if we're gonna make it work or not i hopefully hopefully because i think it'll be really cool to work with Saks. they have no budget <laughs> 
like at all. I'm kind of blabbering now. I kind of just want to talk to you guys because I haven't talked to you guys in a few days, but also my tongue hurts, so I'm going to stop talking. All right, guys, we are going to get dressed for this billboard photo shoot we're going to do. This is definitely not the outfit I'm going to be wearing to the billboard, although I'm very comfy in it. I'm wearing these pants that are actually from my friend's line. She has a line called Entity LA, and she has these sweats with the matching tops that are so cute. They're like such great quality. It says, I'm kidding unless you're down, which I think is like such a kitschy, funny thing to say to people. Either way, we are getting changed. I figured since in the billboard, I'm kind of wearing something like Victoria's Secret vibes. I was like, how fun would it be to kind of wear the same vibe, but more streetwear? We're gonna wear this little like lingerie piece that I literally purchased from Amazon for like 15 bucks for a Halloween costume a few years ago. I honestly do not understand how it's still in my closet. Callie had me get rid of so many things and I don't know how this went past her. I'm actually really shocked it's still here, but let's put it on. All right, dress is on. It doesn't fit completely right, so I might pin it back with these little clips that I got from Amazon. These are supposed to be like collar clips. I forgot the correct word for them, but they're supposed to be for your collar. But I saw a trick on TikTok where you can kind of use it instead to pin back like your jeans or your pants or a dress that doesn't fit you correctly while also making it look really cute. But I actually think I like it a little more flowy like this, so I might keep it like that. I'm wearing a sticky bra. I don't know if Target Target changed the sticky bra formula. They do not stick on me anymore. They used to stick on me for like 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day. I would sometimes fall asleep in them. I don't know what's going on, but this new glue that they're using falls off every like 20 minutes. Okay, and then I'm thinking for like a cover up just to wear this. So it's like casual, but cute. Okay, I might change this outfit. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't like this. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm wearing this little cardigan. I'm going very girly vibes right now. <laughs> I feel like I go through stages where I like really girly clothing or like really tomboy clothing or like really like sophisticated. Right now I think I'm in my girly phase. Besides the point, for shoes I'm wearing these fake Doc Martens that are in white but a lot of you guys always ask me about these shoes. They're from Nasty Gal. It's like girly but then the shoes make it less girly. I don't know why I'm all out of breath. Super cute. Okay, <laughs> let me put the other ones on. Okay, so it was hard to tell earlier what the full fit looked like since I was so close to the camera, but I'm gonna wear these earrings that I got from Shop Girls Crew. I love, love, love Gina. She's the one that owns Shop Girls Crew. I just love supporting small businesses, so highly, highly recommend. I believe all their items are gold-plated as well, so if you guys are sensitive, you don't have to worry about your ears or rings turning green or anything. Those are so cute. They have like little gems, like opal gems on them. By the time this video or vlog is gonna be up, the billboard's gonna be gone, which I'm super sad about that you guys can't see it, but it's okay. It's gonna be okay. I should probably tell you guys about it on Instagram or something. Your jeans are so cute. What the hell? I thrifted them. <gasps> I want. Those are so. Are those Tommy? Yeah. Alright, got the earrings in, guys. Look at Callie's freaking Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Those are like the iconic mom jeans. Like, I love those. Those are I was so, so happy cute. Alright, guys, here is the full fit so you guys can see the outfit. I feel cute. Here is the fit. Amazon. I think this is. Nasty Gal. I've had this for a very, very long time, and Nasty Gal as well, and Shop Girls Crew earrings, and I'm gonna go grab my saddlebag. Oh, do I want a bucket hat? Maybe I'll bring a bucket hat as well. Which one? Oh, I like the, not the printed one. The furry one? Yeah, this I haven't one? seen that one before. Okay, we haven't worn this. Oh, and it matches too. My hair is very clean, but during Valentine's Day, I put it in a hat and it's just been not so cute lately. All right, we're gonna try to add some texture to my hair. I'm using my favorite two products for my hair, the Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar and then the Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray from Living Proof. Let's do a little dry shampoo. I'm so excited because tomorrow I'm getting my hair redone. My roots are all grown out. Look how much roots I have. It's so dark. This is like different. You just spray it in sections. You Are you going, baby? Yeah. I love you. I love. Take pictures, FaceTime me. I might oh. be in a call. <laughs> and then from here, you just scrunch it all up. Sweet. A little bit better. Oh my god, there's me! Guys, I'm right there. I'm right there. Oh my god, we gotta get closer. Okay. Oh, oh my god! That's me! Whoa. Come on, what the heck? This man has a sign that says, sex is better if you eat first. And I 100% agree with that <laughs> statement. You guys, you can drive this Ferrari for $89 without a deposit. That sounds really cheap. That sounds too cheap. I would not trust. That's me. Y'all, 
That is me. That's so cool. That's me, you guys. Ah! Wow. It's actually up for a while in this one. Guys, guys. That's so cool. All right, so we're going and walking around to get a better view of it. We're gonna get a little bit closer. Who would have guessed? I never would have known I'd be on a billboard that I didn't have to pay for. I did not pay for this. Ah, there she is. Did you guys see that? I was up there. I was up there. in and out. I'm so excited for this. All right, we took some photos. It was a success. Found a random filmmaker that was there as well and took some videos of myself. So I'm super excited to see. I just don't know when it's gonna be up, but. That was so cool. Oh, y'all, this looks beautiful. Best day so far. Wow, we're having a great day, Cal. Me too. You're part of my great day. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, we are back home. Today's been such a fun day. I cannot believe I have a billboard in Hollywood. Unfortunately, by the time you guys see this video, the billboard will not be there anymore. Also, Zoe has decided to play with her squeaky toy right now, Missy. So while we're at In-N-Out, there was like a homeless man asking for food. So I am always a big believer in like, if someone's hungry, you should always buy like homeless people food. And I don't mind doing that at all, but this man was so rude to the In-N-Out workers afterwards. He literally got kicked out of In-N-Out because he was screaming about how he had celiac disease, but apparently he goes to In-N-Out very often and does this where he tries to get free food out of the In-N-Out workers by saying he has celiac disease and trying to get like another burger out of them. He literally got kicked out by like two guys that worked at In-N-Out. When he like left the building, everyone that worked at In-N-Out started cheering and I've never seen that before. It was like very odd. Also, at one point, he was like, um, you can give me cash instead. And I was like, I'm not going to give you cash, but I'll, like, buy you your food. And I think that's not exactly what he wanted. Like, I think he actually just wanted the cash. I kind of wish, like, the In-N-Out workers had said from the get-go while I was paying for his meal, like, hey, like, this guy's super rude. Because he was literally, like, hassling the In-N-Out workers and screaming at the top of his head. I really shouldn't have gotten him food. Like, I was happy to get him food, but then I kind of wished I hadn't because I felt like I was a part of the problem. Like, I kind of felt bad for the workers that I bought him food, if that makes sense. Maybe that's a weird thought to have, but yeah. I just thought I would share that random story. Still buy people food if they ask for it. Good morning, it's the next day right now. So I'm on my way to go see my hair salonist, my salonist, my hairstylist. I don't know how to say that correctly, but we are gonna go and get my hair done. My roots are growing in like absolutely crazy. I'm so excited about this. I haven't been to the salon in like two months. My hair just grows so fast and I don't know if you guys can in see 1, how many I have. Super excited to see Rosie. She's amazing and I believe she's taking on new clients as well. So if you guys need a new hair person that's really good cool with Asian hair or any type of hair, I highly suggest Rosie. I'll link her down below. Hopefully we get to go a little bit lighter today. I'd love to go lighter but I also don't want to ruin my hair and we're thinking about doing extensions one day. So I want to see what's going to happen today and then maybe do extensions because that'll be super exciting for me. I should be there about an hour. It takes so long to get to her. But if you guys are wondering why I don't have my camera, it's because this morning I ran around and I could not find my camera anywhere. So when I get home, I'm going to try to find my camera because I don't want to lose it. So I'm just going to vlog on my phone today. Also, I'm so excited to drive there today because I finally got myself a fast track. If you guys are familiar with like the roadways or the highways in Los Angeles or California in general, if you have a fast track, you can drive on a specific lane that you have to pay for. So it's kind of like a toll highway. Getting to places is so much faster, but it is gonna be like an extra six or seven dollars to get there using the toll roads. It's kind of expensive for seven bucks, but I think it's worth it. So we're gonna do that and I'm gonna just keep on driving and get off my phone. Okay, all right, we're at the salon. I forgot to tell you guys I'm getting a keratin treatment because I forgot that I'm getting it today, but I'm so excited. So apparently a keratin treatment is gonna make your hair feel super straight and healthy and I won't get frizziness. Like all this is just little baby frizzes that annoy me. Oh my God, it's so light. Yeah. I love it. So pretty. I love the color. It looks so good. We got the keratin. Oh my God, it's so soft. <laughs> yep. Oh my God, it feels so soft. <gasps> 
why have I wait what are the benefits of keratin again so that everyone knows so keratins are great if you have frizzy hair or if you're extremely blonde so first of all what it's going to do is get rid of that frizz okay. but keratin is the protein in your hair so it's also going to repair your hair you're not gonna have to like blow dry style quite as much all of that so your hair can grow longer stronger shinier healthier mm. all that it looks so so good. Okay, I'll vlog more when I'm home with the better camera. Hey guys, so I told you guys I would show you guys what my hair looks like the next morning with my actual camera because I've just been vlogging my phone. This is what my hair looks like with the keratin treatment. It is so freaking straight, guys. It's so straight. And if you've never had a keratin treatment before, I can't wash my hair for three days and every morning and night I'm supposed to straighten my hair so that it stays straight because if I have any kinks in my hair, it'll become permanent. So in a way, I feel like I'm permanently straightening my hair with this entire thing and I love it. So with the keratin treatment is supposed to make your hair dry way faster way less frizzy super smooth super shiny I've kind of noticed a difference with like the way my hair texture feels but I still have the keratin in my hair and that kind of feels like plastic so it doesn't feel like super soft and shiny once I wash it out I'm supposed to have like amazing luscious super amazing hair and I feel like that's what all the celebrities do if you've ever watched a PNT Pro V commercial or like an herbal essence commercial you know that they always have like the shiniest hair I never knew how they got that but they got it by doing a keratin treatment but if you guys are wondering how much rosie charges she charges at minimum 300 dollars, and i think it just depends on like how much hair you have and how thin it is or i don't really know but it starts at 300 i highly highly suggest getting it done i'll keep you guys updated over the next few vlogs of when i wash my hair how my hair feels and everything but already it feels so good i've gotten so many compliments on how straight my hair looks and if my hair is permanently straight like this i'd be so happy and i know a lot of you guys are going to be like tiffany your hair is straight it is very very straight Straight, but I do get a lot of weird kinks in it at all times and it's so so frizzy ever since going blonde So I'm super happy to not have to have frizzy hair or to have my hair dry in eight hours air drying my hair takes eight hours I hate it and hopefully if it dries in four hours I'm gonna be so happy with that being said I'm gonna end the vlog here I feel like I've been vlogging a lot and I'm gonna start a new vlog today if you guys made it to the end of the vlog comment down below what your hair naturally looks like is it straight wavy curly kinky what is it I'm super curious but that's it I love you guys Bye guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.